Good afternoon and welcome to The Developer Show, a program where we showcase up and coming developments, talk investments and discuss how you can find yourself in this latest development off in Powell called La Vie Estates. Today we are joined by Troy Mouton, who is the Head of Marketing and Sales at Salsa Properties. Troy, thank you so much for taking some time out to join us. My pleasure, glad I could be here. I'm looking forward to the discussion. Now, Troy, you've mentioned to me about this latest development off in Paul, La Vie Estate. Before we jump into that, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself, a little bit about your team, and what a potential customer can expect if they decide to purchase within this development? Excellent. Okay, so yeah, we started off as a very small real estate company in 2004. Um, and since then, we've just been growing from strength to strength um, over the years. So we've been in the market now, uh, been involved with real estate for 16 years. Um, like I said, we started off, you know, as a small company, just doing a few rentals, just doing a few sales. And then, you know, over the years, we progressed into pretty much a new development powerhouse where we've been specializing and um, been very involved with new developments, assisting developers in marketing their developments, um, you know, taking it everything from marketing to sales and, you know, to the, to the end product of handover. So we've, um, yeah, we've, we've sort of um, put ourselves in a position where we've got quite a strong development game. Um, over the years, we've completed, you know, anything from about 30 plus developments. Um, so we've sold over two, 3,000 uh, new development units. So we're very, very involved with that, with that aspect. Um, we've got a very strong rental portfolio, our, our company. We've got a strong sales uh, division as well. But like I said, what, what we do pride ourselves in is our new development game and, you know, what we can offer the client and the public in terms of that. It's always nice to hear when I have these discussions with different developers and estate agencies, how many of them have got such a long and storied history in the real estate market. Because to me, yeah. as someone who has these discussions and speaks to estate agents, it brings a lot of reassurance knowing that you've been in the game for so long, because obviously you're doing a lot of things right. Correct. And you know what's nice? I mean, we started, like I said, in 2004, we've had 16 years experience and Myself, I've been involved here for nine years. So, I mean, I've got more than enough experience and we've assisted, you know, majority of clients. What we'd like to do is assist our clients from A to Z, you know, uh, where initial contacts made from them, from a response that we receive or an inquiry. And we can sort of run them, you know, through, through all the, the questions and concerns they might have up until date of handover, you know, when they receive their keys. So, we like to be involved, you know, with our clients from, from the initial response all the way through to the final uh, process of when they get the keys to their home. We like to be involved of, you know, as far as possible throughout that home ownership process. No, that's absolutely great to hear. So today we're talking about La Vie Estate. Can you introduce us to this development? Talk me through it. Okay, so La Vie Estate, the, the reason or the, the behind La Vie Estate, how we prided ourselves on finding the, the correct position for the development is we, we realized that the student accommodation market, there's, there's a shortage of student accommodation. Um, a lot of guys don't want to be, you know, in Stellenbosch paying excessive, you know, rental amounts. And then guys also, there's a lot of, you know, places in Wellington as well, um, student campuses as well, that they need suitable, you know, affordable student accommodation. So we found that Le Vie, in the middle of the commute between you know, Stellenbosch and Wellington, uh, Paul's positioned nicely there, you know, in the, the newly developed area and in the growth node. And um, it's, it's well in the, the heart of the Wildlands. And we thought, you know, it's an ideal spot for students, you know, to, to easily commute in and out between Stellenbosch, Wellington, Clubmouth, you know, wherever they, they need is for their, their varsity and their studies. Uh, we found Paul to be the ideal position because it's affordable. And it's like I say, it's a mere 15 to 20 minutes drive to Stellenbosch. The guys don't need to be in Stellenbosch, you know, paying excessive rates on one or two bedrooms. Yeah, in La Vie itself, I mean, they can pay affordable rates and like I said, a safe, secure, and it's a very short commute. So La Vie State is actually ideal for, for students, um, as well as, you know, first time buyers, we, we thought that's our target market. Guys, you know, trying to get into the market at a, at a very reasonable and realistic market price. And um, that's, that's how La Vie State uh, came along. Stellenbosch being such a popular university town, how has that affected the demand on these units? Well, the thing is, we've seen the demand because Stellenbosch, because there's such a there's such an undersupply and over demand at the moment over there. We've seen a lot of students and a lot of you know parents of students coming and approaching us and saying to us, "Listen, here, yeah, our kids need accommodation. Can we assist with that?" And based on that, we've been helping and assisting you know many students in terms of um, rental accommodation. And then many parents also seen it as you know the next sort of boom 
in terms of student accommodation, the poll area, because of the fact that, like I said, Stellenbosch is becoming overpopulated. Um, there's not as much accommodation as they, as they uh, would like to have. And then, you know, that's why the parents and the, the families of these kids are looking at areas, you know, in the surrounds of Stellenbosch to try and, you know, make, make ends meet. Looking at this, unless I'm mistaken, and I'd love you to chat to me about this yes. as well. It's not really just a, um, a purchase that's going to so solve a short-term problem, which is my child's going to university. Where am I yes. going to put them at an affordable rate? It's also something that you can look at as a future investment because Stellenbosch is going nowhere. So there's always going to be people Correct. who require housing in the area. Yes. No, definitely. I mean, we saw from, from day one, we saw the, the whole reason behind the development and the location and as well the, the fact that we said we're going to position ourselves where we did. We said that you know, like you say, there's, there's such a, a shortage of accommodation, affordable accommodation that's safe and secure, you know, that um, sort of satisfies the students' needs from A to Z. Um, we came along, we said La Vie is perfect for that. And, you know, we what we do as well is we, we've put together packages that, you know, can sort of assist the, the client as well as the student in terms of, you know, making ends meet on, on their side. So, yeah, we definitely believe that La Vie State is and will be, you know, the next sort of boom. Um, and the area, the, the whole area around our development as well is, you know, it's, it's, it's newly developed. There's a lot of scope for new developments coming up around there. So from, from a client's uh, perspective, we definitely expect there's going to be a good capital growth in the area. There's, there's a lot of positivity and all of that, you know, that's, that's coming along as well. Now, Troy, I'd love you to tell me a little bit about the units. Um, what units are available and uh, what do the units look like? Can you give me a rundown? So pretty much the development was comprised of three unit types. Um, we had we had smaller bachelor units or studio apartments, and then we had smaller one bedrooms. And now we've got the the bigger one bedrooms that we currently still have available. So the development was com comprised um, originally of a few blocks. We've had some of the blocks already been sold out. So at the moment we're sitting with three blocks um, that are still available with, where units can be bought, which is blocks A, B, and G. Those blocks collectively have a availability of 51 units that are still available. These 51 units that we still have available, they are the one bedroom, 42 square meter um, one bed units. And those units have a very spacious and open plan living and kitchen area, a separate um, bathroom on the side, and then a sort of separate spacious bedroom. So it caters pretty much for, for a student or you know a young professional working couple trying to to kickstart themselves off um, at an affordable rate. And what other amenities are available within the development for potential tenants? Well, what we do at the moment is we've got the, the clubhouse, uh, which is up and running there. It's a very nice and uh, neatly finished off clubhouse. The clubhouse offers a laundromat with a drying yard. So the laundromat can you know, be, be used on a, on a coin basis. Um, and then what the tenants can do is you know once they've, they've done their, their washing at the, at the clubhouse, They'll take it to the drying yard. They can hang it up. It's, it's very well supervised. I mean, there's not a concern. I mean, obviously, a lot of people have concerns about hanging their laundry and stuff like that. There's no concern in terms of that because there is a, a security on site. So um, that is quite a nice initiative. The fact that if tenants don't want to you know, do their laundry in the apartment, then they can always go and hang it up at the drying yard, make use of the clubhouse and the, the laundromat facilities. You know, it shows just how much thought you've put into this development and it's catering towards students, knowing that the, 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 the parents wouldn't need to also then get them a washing machine and also possibly get them a tumble dryer. They've already got those facilities on the, on the, on the ground. That, that's the thing. I mean, like you say, with the, the thought process, we into this beforehand and we said to ourselves, you know, what sort of added bonus can we, you know, give towards students or our target market being students and the younger individual? I mean, now they don't need to go, you know, up front and go and buy and put money into getting washing machines and all of those concerns. Um, what they can do is just make use of the development clubhouse with the laundromat and drying facilities. And there they go. I mean, they don't need to go and fork out that initial expense, you know, for, for those appliances. You mentioned earlier that, that Salsa's got quite a strong rental portfolio. And I wanted to ask you when you said that, but I thought, let me leave it just later into this interview. In yes, that yes. If I decide to purchase within this development, as an investment, would you guys 
um, or, or do you guys offer the facility to, to find a tenant for me or to market that house for, for uh, rent? Or is that something I'd need to take on and just make sure I, I handle all of that? No, so it's actually, it's actually good that you also appreciate that because what we do is based on our new developments, we've got a lot of our investors or the majority of our investors come back to us and ask us to further take over the rental management of the units. So what we do is we, you know, once they've bought the place and they've taken registration beforehand, we ensure that they've got tenants in their units so that by date of registration, you know, they've already got an income being generated in the apartment. And that's what we do. So we can offer the systems, you know, the rental assistance in terms of management of the apartments and the, the investments to our investors that we, you know, facilitate and run the whole process from A to Z in sourcing, securing, collecting rental and doing all of that on behalf of our clients, which, which is often very satisfying for them. Again, another one of the, the stresses or the potential stresses that you guys alleviate completely. You purchase into the development, knowing that you're going to handle all of it is absolutely fantastic. Um, my yeah, next question, is, I know that this development's located in Paul, so maybe it isn't something that's top of everybody's mind, but it's probably something that's quite good if we do go through it, and that is security. Can you talk me around the security of this development? Well, I mean, like, like before, and with any development, we, we obviously go and do the necessary research and ensure that, you know, the correct security measures are put in place. Um, and that's what this development offers. We've got um, a good security in the sense of completely boarded off the estate. Um, the estate then further offers electric fencing on the, on the boundary walls. And at the front, we've got a well access um, controlled 24 hour man security. So they obviously ensure, you know, that, that people that aren't or visitors that are meant to be there aren't, you know, allowed in and it's very well regulated in terms of allowing only the residents and you know the odd visitors here and they're in and out and security shouldn't be a concern to anyone looking to purchase in the development and within the development itself within the blocks you can purchase are they completed are they still being built what what stage is the development in well that's actually the the nice part is the developer or the the client initially doesn't have to worry about you know waiting a year or 18 months or so before they can take um, occupation and then subsequent registration of the unit. What, what's nice is we've already got the units built. The blocks are already built, units are painted, everything's ready for occupation. So should the, should the investor purchase one of these units, they've got the option to take occupation readily, um, already put tenants in, with the tenants or the, the, the client is then gonna pay the developer the occupation or rental up until the point of registration. But what's nice is like I said, should the client be a buy to live, looking to purchase to stay themselves, they can always move in prior to registration, say within the first month or two, pay an occupational rent to the developer, and then they've got the accommodation, you know, that's, that they don't need to wait, you know, 12 to 18 months before it's constructed. I mean, that's a huge selling point, specifically with um, everybody going back to university now, knowing that this is an option and you can move right in. But it does beg me to ask the question, how does that affect transfer duty? Well, the thing is, the, the development offers a nice, a nice, um, how can I say, uh, bonus and benefit is that no duties are payable. So no transfer costs are applicable to a purchase in this, in this development. So from a purchaser perspective, you don't, you aren't liable for any costs. The only cost that the purchaser is liable for is their bond registration cost, should they opt to go the route of taking out, you know, home and finance on one of the units, uh, which, is a, which is a mere portion of the, of the cost. So they're actually saving quite a bit of money because they're not liable for any transfer costs or transfer duty in the development and only their, their bond registration costs. Um, with that being said, another great selling point for the development is many developers or many times the client's gonna be asked for a 5% or 10% deposit or initial deposit up, up front, you know, to, to guarantee and or for their commitment to the, to the purchase. Here in this development, we don't charge any deposit fees whatsoever. So the client is just liable for this, the security of their purchase price, whether it be by means of a home loan or whether it is, you know, getting their cash and guarantees in place. That is very, very nice to hear. The other question I wanted to ask just before we cut to break, that is probably the question that every single student wants to know immediately is, what is the situation with, um, with fiber? Is there already fiber installed in all units? And are there any other benefits to, to, the, um, to, to the tenants that we might have skipped on? Well, definitely. I mean, with most developments now that, we, that we're involved with, we always like to have the facility or the, the, the option you know, for fiber installation into the complex. So the infrastructure is already there. Uh, fiber has been laid out in the development and it's just, the, it's just for the tenants you know, on their behalf that they need to take out um, package of their choice. But the, like I said, the infrastructure is there, it's readily available. The tenants can just take out their package from the service provider 
and they can have their fiber you know up and running in within hours so that is that is great so once again it just shows how much thought you put into this and i think everybody's very very keen for us to cut to break and take a look at this beautiful offering from salsa so let's take a quick break and we will be right back after it troy great to see you afterwards Good afternoon and welcome back to The Developer Show. My name is Chad and I'll be your host. And today we are joined by Troy Mouton, who is the Head of Sales and Marketing for Salsa Properties. Troy is talking to us about their latest development right there by Stellenbosch. It is located in Paul and it is called La Vie Estates. It's a very fancy name, Troy. I must admit, I do like it. No, thanks. So There's a bit of thought behind that as well, but I think we, we came to a, a good name for, for the development. Does, it does sound nice and beachy and specifically with us going into summer, I think that's exactly what everybody wants to hear. 100%. Now, Troy, I wanted to ask you, we've been speaking about this development. People have now had a good chance to look at it and, and take a feel through it. I want to ask you, what is its most unique selling point? What is that one thing that somebody's going to see this development or maybe more than one thing, they're going to see it and be like, wow, that is absolutely incredible. Well, Chad, that's, that's great you asked the question because I mean, I, I certainly without a doubt can tell you now that what this development office now at the moment um, stands out, you know, sixfold over any other development that I can think of currently. The unique selling point for me, not only is all costs included, um, the fact that we're not asking the deposit upfront on the purchase of a unit. Furthermore to that, what we're doing is the developer from their side is offering a unique offering to the public now that should someone purchase a unit, they're going to pay that client that invested a 2000 Rand rental assistance from date of registration on their unit. So let me give you an idea and a breakdown as to how it works. Should a client purchase a unit, they wait two to three months for registration. From date of registration, when they take ownership of that unit, they need to have a tenant in place already, which like I mentioned, we can definitely assist with beforehand. But as from date of registration, when they, when they take ownership of the unit, that tenant needs to be in place from that point onwards, that 2,000 Rand rental assistance kicks in. What the developer then does is pays that investor 2,000 Rand a month for 12 months over and above the current rental income they're currently getting on a unit. So example, if you're gonna get between 5,000 and 5,500 Rand rental return on one of these units, the developer is further giving additional 2,000 Rand rental assistance to the purchaser. So where your initial return on investment on a purchase of these units at say 5,000 Rand rental income was about say call it seven, eight percent. You're now looking at a 10 to 11 percent return on investment, which is it's, it's really, really, I mean, it's unheard of now in terms of, of new developments and purchases. So definitely our 2,000 Rand rental assistance is something that definitely stands out and is definitely one of the most unique selling points that we can offer the public. Um, with that being said, this rental assistance only is effect effective for 12 months from date of registration, given a tenant is in place already. But should that investor only have a tenant in place after three months, they then only go to get the rent license for nine months. That's only valid for a 12 month point while you have a uh, tenant in place. So, so in other words, if the, the tenant's only put in place from registration after three months, they lose out in those three months of rental assistance. They only get it from the first month that that tenant is in for the remainder of the 12 month period. So it's all in all, it's a 12 month period at 2,000 Rand a month, which the developer assists the purchaser with. Listen, Troy, that is absolutely incredible. It really does seem like you guys have went over and above to not only appeal to students who are potentially the biggest clients for this, but also to potential investors sure. looking to move into the area. Yes. And I mean, that, that's what we thought about as well. We know the market's been hit hard by COVID. I mean, many people are in a financially unstable position and just for reassurance and just, you know, give our assistance and 
you know, try and assist as far as possible from outside, as well as the developer, that is what was thought about. And, you know, this is a proposal now that we give the, the public. Um, this, this rental assistance definitely, you know, stands out. And this is, I can, I can already now mention it, it's really, it's assisted our sales tremendously now over the past few weeks since we've implemented this. And I'm sure it will definitely assist, you know, with future sales in the development, because any, any investor, I mean, they all look at this and they'll say, listen, it's a no brainer. I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Absolutely. You know, you mentioned COVID now, and I, I did want to touch on that as well, in that COVID affected a lot of people's construction timelines and, and their due dates. And has it affected you guys at all? Has it affected your developer? And if so, did you guys have to take any, any um, different routes to mitigate those delays? Well, fortunately, we've been, we were in a position as such that COVID didn't affect us or our construction or um, development timelines whatsoever. Like I mentioned previously in the, the first half of the of the um, talk, our development is already up and running. Our construction is complete. Our blocks are already um, built. So the, the, the client has the option to take occupation readily. Um, we're not gonna have any further delays in terms of COVID. So a client, you know, with with a accommodation, you know, a problem can come to us and say, listen, yeah, they would like to take occupation, you know, prior to transfer, and we can gladly assist them, you know, with ready, readily available accommodation. So the units are up and running. Everything is in place. It's just a matter of, you know, a client wanting to take occupation prior to transfer or not. But like I said, we, we geared for that. COVID didn't affect us whatsoever. How important is it for real estate companies to, to properly, properly vet their developers or um, do that due diligence before they move into business with different developers? Yes, I mean, that's, that is very important. That's obviously a, a big um, factor we need to take into consideration. But luckily, you know, we've, we've been involved with this developer, you know, that's on the project currently. We've, we've walked a long road with him and we've had a long successful relationship over the years with past developments as well. And we know our clients. I mean, we know the, the, the service and, the, and the, uh, pro the end product that we're going to get from them. And based on that, we, we'd love to continue doing business with them because we know the product is always going to be that of satisfaction, the clients and the public are happy with it. And I mean, they also look after the, the clients, you know, if there's any problems at a later stage in terms of snags and all of that. So I must say from our side, we've, we've always been very comfortable working with this developer and this developer, if the, the public was ever, you know, concerned, they can always go and Google them and they can see their reputable name in the industry. And I would, without a doubt, you know, uh, go ahead and purchasing further developments that they have to offer. Well, that's great to hear, which leads me to the next question is, Take me through the process. If I decide I want to purchase within La Via Estates, take me through the process of the moment I call you up and I say, look, I'm looking to purchase to the moment you give me the keys. What happens there and, and what do you guys assist with? Um, what is it maybe good to know for other people looking to purchase? What's that advice you'd give to other people looking to purchase that they need to keep in mind when doing this as well? Well, remember, I mean, most importantly, and from the get-go, I would say, you know, just make sure the agent you're working with, the agent and subsequently the agency, most important is to ensure that you're working with a reputable name in the industry that's got the necessary experience and qualifications, as well as the fact that they've got the necessary knowledge and the, and the, the knowledge of the market at the moment. Um, with that being said, you know, from the moment that initial contact is made, the response is received by us, an inquiry is received on the development. We contact the client immediately and we'll just have a walk through a chat with them, you know, just clarifying any concerns or any you know, further questions they might have. Subsequently, we'll arrange a, a viewing on site with them, take them through a show unit, which we have, which is already furnished, which gives a great idea of the space in the development and the way you can lay your unit out in terms of furniture and all of that. And then from that initial introduction we have with them, should they express interest in you know, purchasing, we then run them through the whole contract. Um, we, we sit down with them, explain the contract to them, run them through all the nitty gritty parts of the contract, get the contract signed. And then from that point onwards, should they be subject to a home loan being um, uh, should they be subject to a home loan being approved? We've got in-house bond origination services that we offer further. So our in-house bond originator offers a client, you know, the, the assistance and facilitates the whole process with the client from A to Z in terms of applying at the banks, negotiating, fighting for better rates, and then, and, and. So once that is complete and we've got the favorable, you know, home loan in place, or if the client is just, you know, it's a cash deal, they then secure the, the cash and the guarantees. Uh, for the purchase price. From that point onwards, we then waited out for the transfer and registration to go through, which is anything from two to three months. I'd say about three months to be conservative at this point. Um, and then once once transfer and registration has gone through, we meet with the client on site and then give them their keys, you know, to their 
say, new investment or new, new home. Troy, another question I wanted to ask you when you mentioned bond originator is why is it so important to rather go through a bond originator rather than just go hop on your banking app and apply for finance there? You know, I get also quite often and it's, it's actually very simple. Many clients think, you know what, let's just approach our own bank. And yes, it's all well, I mean, said, clients often think they're going to get preferential rates, especially if they're private banking clients, but it's not always the case. What's nice is the bond originator and the services we offer is the bond originator doesn't only go to the client's primary bank. The bond originator then goes to the other banks as well. So many a time, the other banks might find more value in the client than their own bank does and offers them much better offerings in terms of um, fuller loan amounts as well as better interest rates, in which event the client, you know, has alleviated the fact that they're only, you know, being forced to go with their own bank or their own bank has offered. They can see the other banks are even more eager for their business. So many a time, other banks give much better offerings, which the client often pursues as opposed to going the route of their own bank. So the, the originator fights and, you know, often just goes the extra mile, you know, to get the better interest rates and the better offering on behalf of that client. So that is always a, a great initiative that we offer. It's very interesting to know because I think a lot of people, like you said, think because I've been banking with this bank for so long, they're going to give me the best rates. And you don't often to think, hold on, what are the other banks going to do? So it's nice to know that Salsa and yourself offer that option, that you guys are going to take that, handle it, and come back to me with my best options. Well, with all the options, and then we can start boiling it down to the best exactly. options. Just, re just rest assured for the client. I mean, at the end of the day, the client's our responsibility. So we just want to ensure that they get the best possible service at the best possible offerings that the market has to offer. Now, we've been speaking about investments quite a bit today, and I wanted to ask you, just before we close off, is what advice would you give to somebody looking to invest into property today? Well, quite simply, I mean, I've always maintained, and my, my sort of motto has always been, the best time to purchase is yesterday. I mean, there's never a better time than to purchase than the, the given time. I mean, any investment you're gonna make now is always gonna pay itself off you know, in the long run. So best thing you can do is invest in property. But I would always recommend that now's a very good time for, for the clients, the first-time buyers especially, um, you know, to jump into the market and to get their foot into the door because of the fact that take advantage of the current, you know, buyer's market and the current um, um, market that we've got at the moment, as well as the fact that take advantage of the current interest rates. I mean, the interest rates are at an all-time low. I mean, as we all are aware, 7%, been the lowest in, you know, 50-odd years or whatever it is. So now's a very good time for the client, you know, to get into the market at a 7% interest rate. Their bond and their, their rep monthly repayments are going to be much, much lower than it was, you know, um, years ago. So now's a very good time, but actually better than ever for, you know, a client to get into the market and to get their foot into the door to start, you know, investing in property. Now, Troy, lastly, I wanted to say is that Salsa has had a long-standing relationship with private property. And can you talk to me a bit about how much that's affected the way you market your products? Well, you know, private property has been, they've, they've made life so much easier for us from, from an agency perspective and from a marketing perspective. I mean, the platform they provide, everything is just very accessible, very easy, it's very user-friendly. And I mean, they've also just given us exposure to, you know, platform and market our developments and our listings and all of that in a very professional and, and a market, market um, how can I say, in a, in a way that the market would, would like to see it. I mean, they also, you know, offer the option of us to do, you know, Matterports and all the added bonuses, you know, that, that the industry likes to see, you know, where you can sit in the comfort of your own home and have a Matterport with 3D where you can walk through the property virtual tour yourself without having to physically view the property. So private property has definitely assisted us, you know, a lot in terms of the platform they provide to market on and also just the, the benefits like this show that they offer the public. I mean, I think it's definitely something that makes them stand out in terms of one of the marketing uh, platforms that you can use nowadays. Troy, thank you so much for taking some time out to join us today. It has been enlightening. And I think everybody who's joined in definitely is very interested to jump hop onto private property and take a good look at La Via Estates. So thank you very much. It's my pleasure. Thanks, Chad. And thanks to the private property team for taking the time today. Anytime. I'm hopefully going to see you again on here soon. But for everybody that's joined us, thank you so much for tuning in. And I will be seeing you tomorrow. Thank you again. And goodbye.